Oh. Just one of those audit peoples that's doing this for a YouTube thing. Yo. Bust it. Dude. Dude. Please, please. Uh, no. Because I'm practicing my Canadian Charter rights to film in public. Canadian Charter rights. Section 2, paragraph B, freedom of the press. How well do you know the Canadian Charter rights? Who give a shit about your rights? Are, are you detaining me? Yes, I am. For what crime? Because you're a for, for what crime? The privacy of everyone. Am I being detained? Yes. Yeah, you are. For what? Stunting. Public feeling is not against the law. So, so you detaining me for filming is not against the law. Hey everybody, it's Canadian Rights Media. I'm here at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the LDS, or AKA the Mormons, here in Monterey Park, northeast part of Calgary. I'm here to see if the individuals at the LDS location will respect our Canadian rights to film in public. Let's find out. So yeah, folks, this is it. This is the LDS Church on California Boulevard. I wonder if uh, that weirdo, Nasty Nathaniel, and his lover, Parker Osman, I wonder uh, if they have a, a place here, being that they're both from California. But then again, Angry Gay Pope is from California, too, so, you know, who the hell knows? So anyways, the Mormon Church has a long history or as it's officially known as the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It was founded in 1830 as the Church of Christ Fayette, New York. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, that was uh, where the uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints began. And the founder was Joseph Smith, who was actually murdered in jail. He was actually... Uh, drug out of his jail cell by a lynch mob and uh, murdered. So, uh, you know, definitely uh, weren't too friendly amongst the Mormons there. But anyways, uh, the second president was Brigham Young, and eventually Brigham Young led his people out west, where they settled in Salt Lake City, Utah in 1846. So the church's headquarters are still in Salt Lake City to this day. And uh, there's actually a big presence um, of LDS members, not only in Utah, but also in the state of Arizona as well. There's actually a big LDS population in Arizona. And apparently there's a decent sized LDS population here in Alberta, as there are a number of LDS churches in the Calgary and Edmonton areas and other parts of the province. So, hey, hey what do you know? I guess uh, wherever you find a lot of Mormons, there aren't going to be too many hopping bars. We have another vehicle coming in. Followed by, if you guessed it, not one, but two more vehicles. <laughs> All right. What are you videoing for? I'm just out doing some public filming. Oh. Well, come on to the church if you like. Okay. All right, now vehicle coming in. He does not look happy. He looks grumpy. Now a vehicle coming in. And, of course, come on. We have to see it. One more arriving. Nice friendly way. Oh, but we can't stop there. Let's do a fourth one arriving. Hi. Hi. What are you taking pictures of? Whatever I can see from a public standpoint. Why? Because it's our Canadian Charter rights. Oh, okay. Did you want to know more? Did you want to commit? Can I go in and uh, record? Why not? Because, well, there's broadcast to people that can't come. Oh, that's kind of sad. So that's kind of sad. Can't, can't record your meetings?
Okay. Oh, crate of vehicles. One, two, three. Nice friendly wave from that. Good morning. She was chipper. Can't say she had her Starbucks this morning because if you don't know, uh, the Mormons, LDS, cannot drink coffee. He's uh, standing there, aren't you sure? Hey, doesn't that look like uh, our old mayor, Nashi, right there? Never knew he was a Mormon. Oh, looks like the Mormon brought out their security. Anything I can see? Private line. Private line of oh, Security's waving. Hi. I could tell by the black thing, name tag on his suit, he's a missionary. So Mayor Nashi has become a missionary for the LDS church. This guy's uh, brushing off his face mask. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm curious too. No, I'm asking you. Yeah, I'm asking you. I'm curious too. Can you tell me about the Salamander letter? No. Why? It's a Church of uh, Latter-day Saints uh, tied in with the Church of Scientology. <laughs> I'm not a spokesman for anything, but no. No? I think it is. No, I'm asking you. Yeah, I said no. Okay. You guys have ties with the draw witnesses? No. No? Do you know Parker Osmond? <laughs> no. Is no? This... What about Frank? Do you know Frank? Or Odo? I don't know what you're talking about. It's oh, they're... It's a little weird that you're standing here. They're, they're... It's just a little weird that you're here filming everybody. How's it weird, man? I think it's weird that... Your missionaries come to our door, knocking, practicing their right of religious belief, where I come and I'm practicing my right of public filming. Can they just come to your house filming? Unless they want to. Uh, no, they come knocking on the door. They go around neighborhoods, knocking on people's door. That's funny. It's not funny. Are, are you denying that they go door to door spreading a message of a 17 year old? Well, no, you don't want to have a conversation. You just want to deny everything. Well, it's true. Stopping. Hey, you want something to sue the church about? Sue the church? Well, what are you taking pictures of? Whatever. I a lot of information. Whatever I can see from a public standpoint. Oh, what's that for? Really? It's a camera. What does someone do with the camera? No, I mean. Well, how well do you know the Canadian Charter Rights? I do. I know the U.S. Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, too. Okay, so... We the people. The, I know more. So the U.S. Constitution states uh, we the press, right? Here in Canada, Section 2, under the Fundamental and Freedoms... Why are you taking a picture of me? Did you approach me, sir? Under the fundamental freedoms underneath the Canadian Charter Rights, it 
it says freedom of the press. All right. Do you know that they don't have newspapers anymore? But the press isn't just newspapers, sir. But that's what it started at. That's what it was for. Actually, what it says the press means anybody could be the press. Anybody could ah. take pictures, report anything they wish to do so. Are you part of that movement that W... I am part of no movement, sir. Oh, because there's one guy that he stuck out on uh, Deerfoot there, and uh, he, he's a nice guy, Mark. But uh, yeah, I talked to him too. So what is your movement about? My movement is I'm just out exercising my Canadian Charter rights to film in public. Okay, well, that's a good idea. Uh, whatever uh, happened to um, smiling? <laughs> Are you happy? Well, as they say, if you're happy, you know it. Clap your hands. Well, I'm not clapping. I'm just I want to know it. I woke up this morning and I said something. It's interesting that when you look at yourself in the mirror, you should smile. True. Because that's the first thing you should see is somebody smiling. Are you smiling? I'm always smiling. Well, why do you wear a mask? Because people come up and I'm just protecting myself. From what? From the virus. There's no virus. Yeah, there's a virus, man. Did you watch the new James Bond movie? I don't like James Bond. No, I mean, did you see it? No, I don't like James Bond. No, <laughs> that's not... What... I, I don't watch James Bond movie. Give me Jason Bourne any day. Jason Bourne... Jason Bourne's good. Yeah, but James Bond, no. I don't like James Bond. Never Jason, seen his movies. Jason Stanton is better. But anyway... Um, the movie was kept off the market. Do you know why? It was because it depicted what the government would want to do to control the people. I didn't know that. But the movie was edited. And if you watch the movie, there's parts missing that you, you really don't know what the plot's about until at the end when you see the big complex making the virus. There's a big complex at the end that they blow up. It's a good movie, a um, lot of action, but the, the premise is all based on a virus that was to control the people. I'll, I'll tell you something else. Uh, Donald Trump gave every American that filed their 19, 2019 taxes $1,200. I got a check, I'm an American. The only premise was that if you filed your taxes, you get the money. It was during COVID, remember? It's the start of COVID. Uh, Joe Biden gave every American $1,400, and that was to get tested. The whole family gets tested for the virus. Do you know what he did? He didn't do a COVID test. He did a DNA test. I got it done. My wife got it done. Everybody, my children got it done. Now they have a record of my DNA in a big computer system that they just built. It's down in the States somewhere, they won't even tell you where it is, but they built a big computer center to harvest and to keep all the DNA samples logged in the computer. So if you're thinking of going down to the States, you have to get a DNA test before you go into the States and then when you leave the States. Okay, that's the new rule. Not because of COVID, it's because the government wanted that DNA test. My sister works in Washington. She works for the president. She's the head of mortgages, housing, and student loans. She works in a G5 building, and uh, it's, she's getting ready to retire because uh, she doesn't agree with what they're doing. Okay. So what are the... U.S. government doing with everybody's DNA then? <laughs> Do you know how many... Okay, another thing that Biden did just now, just last week, he's giving because the U.S. cannot harvest their crops because all the Mexicans that were used to coming up to harvest their crops, the, the workers, can't get across the border without a DNA test. So he's giving $400 to each worker to come up. 
to get that DNA test to come up. Did you know that? I, you'd probably never even heard it, but the Mexicans harvest all the American food down there. And right now we have a, a shortage of food because they're not harvesting it. You can get that on the news if you want, because uh, it's not a conspiracy. And uh, it's okay uh, what you're doing. Uh, I just don't know why you're doing it in front of a Mormon church. Well... Do you know why? Oh, I know why. Well, tell me why. Well... I can tell you some interesting <clears throat> things about the Mormon church, too, if you want. I'm so, not so, you, so you could tell me about the salamander letter? Sure. That was a friend of mine, a lawyer, down in the States. He decided to write the letter. It was a, a hoax. It was a hoax. He wrote it on old paper he stole from the book library at BYU. He took old pages off, wrote the letter, and then had it certified that it was an authentic old letter. It was just a hoax. It, I, I don't know his name, too. I, I went to school with him in 1980. There's a lot of things he wrote are a hoax. The Salamander letter is one of them. But anyway, um, but I can't to... believe it. Hey, do you want to know things about Brigham Young? He married a 15-year-old girl. Did you know that? No. He had 17 wives. You knew that. You did know that? Yep. Are you Mormon? No. Well, then why do you know that? You can uh, go down to Salt Lake City and get it right out of the, <laughs> at the Beehive House. Well, where I used to live, the Mormon missionaries were around all the time, so I got to know what they were, quote unquote, going around preaching. You know why they uh, miss preaching? They want to make money. That's the only reason they go to every city. When they went to England, the first missionaries that went to England were going back there to get wealthy people to come to the States for their money. All the money went to the church. The church is trillions of dollars. The people that build these churches, I was an inspector for in Ogden, Utah for one of their temples. I inspected their temples because I was a, an inspector. All the material for this temple wasn't born in Canada. Do you know that? All the material, the carpets, the windows, the lights, the steeple, the everything. Because they have a monopoly on building churches. I can tell you one thing about them. They're not insured. Every church is an insured. If you go to the Sikh temple up the road here, if you go there, they have really good dinners. I go there, I get dinners all the time. The Sikh temple on Martindale Road up there? Yep. Very good people. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, I've, I've been up there. And have you had they, dinner there? Not dinner, but Just I went. Just go in there and have dinner. Just walk in, they'll serve you dinner. They don't care about religion. They care about people. The so, Sikhs are the best. So is it true that the LDS is... What do you say LDS? It's just the Latter-day Saints. That's what they call themselves. LDS is a initial. FPO New York. APO New York. We don't use those things. We use the real words. And so, it's, it's even Mormons. Mormon, they don't like Mormon because Mormon is just the first book of the their, their Bible. That's all. The first book is the Book of Mormon. The second book is the Book of Jacob. The second, third book is another book. But they're all just books, okay? So are they teaming up with the Church of uh, Scientology? No. no. The Church of Scientology is about even making more money. You know what they do? They gather information about each individual in their church, and then they blackmail them. They say, we're going to tell the IRS that you didn't pay taxes. We're going to tell your family that you're gay. We're going to tell the family that you have another wife in Costa Rica. We're going to tell your family everything we know about you if you don't pay us more money. Why do you think movie stars uh, drop out of that church? It's because they say, oh, we're going to tell everybody that your uh, <laughs> Rock Hudson was gay and he was in Scientology, but he, uh, he didn't care what they said about him. What's this guy doing? Just so everybody knows, CPS Unit 1532 arrived. Uh, what? So these individuals called the Calgary City Police on me about somebody with a camera. CPS is going to be informing them. What are you doing wrong? Because they Did find you a weird. Anybody? No. 
they just find it weird about somebody with the camera. So no, they don't. This isn't the first time where. Well, where why do you do it then? If you think that that's what they're doing, are you just trying to make people mad at you? No. So as oh, geez, you, you're so weird. really. How, how's it weird? Somebody out exercising their Canadian Charter rights. If the missionaries come door to door, okay, exercising their know? rights of religious belief, right? What else you want to know? Right? Do you want to know? Oh, I can tell you one thing: the Mormon Church is getting sued by the Boy Scouts of all eighty thousand Boy Scouts. Eighty thousand Boy Scouts. Did you know that? No. Nope. You didn't know that the Mormon Church was getting sued? Do you want to be on that lawsuit? I can put you on it. It's no. easy. You can get over a hundred thousand dollars because they have eight one point eight billion dollars to divide about all the scouts. Well, I was never a Boy Scout, so. You're not trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Oh, I am. You are a scout. Everybody's a scout. Hello. How are you? You see my friend here? He's a good guy. He's been around a long time. And what he's doing is he's gathering information so people can be free. Yeah. It's really nice guy. Yeah, he's quite a lot to record. I do too. Anyway, right. you have a good day. You too, sir. And uh, don't let anybody bother you, okay? I try not to. Call me if you need anything, okay? Okay. Yeah. Have nice a good day. To meet you guys. All right, let's see the usual speech, name, and reg number. Uh, Walsh Murphy, 5785. Hey, okay, thank you. How are you doing today? Not too bad, and yourself? Not bad. Just come to say hi. You're obviously not doing anything good to disturb anybody, so... Yeah. What are you doing? Just out exercising my Canadian Charter rights to film in public. All right, well... And I, I, I will say I was actually surprised. I never... I thought everything went well here until I saw you pull up. I'm like, oh, they did call. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't seem like the person that called is still here. So, oh. yeah, just wanted mm. to come and check and see if everything's okay. Oh, yeah, everything's fine. All right, all right, you have a good day. You too, and thank you so much for being professional and friendly. You have a good day. You too. Everybody. So it was this individual just being a quick chit chat with uh, the Calgary City Police Officer. I think I'm gonna call it a wrap. Yeah, that's an asset thing you will say. So comment below, fail or pass. And if you haven't done so, hit that like button. Don't forget to share. And if you haven't, smash that subscribe button. And follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, the Canadian Rights Media TikTok. Sorry, sir. Oh, I already had breakfast. How about lunch? Oh, I'm not hungry. Thank you for the offer. No problem. But, yeah, no. This car? I, that's a, yeah, that's the duty inspector vehicle, 2900. You know him? He ran a crosswalk. Really? And I caught him. Well, there's actually... And he wants to apologize to me, but I don't want to let him. Well, there's three duty inspectors. Why don't you give him a ticket? That's what I told them. Didn't you do it? <laughs> and uh, you know what? The police chief called me and he said, well, I'll have him call and apologize. I said, why? <laughs> you know. Okay. You too, sir. He is recording the video of the building and then he refused to stop by recording the video. And he said, uh, he don't want to leave. And even he told me that. Uh, I don't know the right of uh, the Canadian citizen, whatever.